Bonjour! How is everybody? Um, hi, I'm filming in France. We're gonna do a get ready with me while I'm here on vacation. Reed is in the background, so if you see his feet, wave your little tootsies for everyone. <laughs> He's here. Um, and we are just relaxing for a little bit before our dinner reservations tonight. And uh, I just, I have to show you guys the view of where I'm at right now. We're in Saint Jean Cap Ferrat. Absolutely stunning. It's the most beautiful place probably I've, I've ever been. It's basically a view of the hills, and then on the other side you can see the Mediterranean Sea. I'll show you a better one in a minute. I'm just gonna start getting ready and I'll show what's on the screen, but I might not talk about it as much because I wanna tell you guys what the heck happened over the last couple days. But I'm starting off with the Road Essence. This was actually one they sent me early. And I really like this if my skin is feeling dry, um, like after I've done my skincare for a while. So I did my skincare a little bit ago and I feel like I just need to rehydrate my skin. But we, uh, we got in two nights ago and Guys, the travel day was an absolute nightmare. You're probably like, um, are you gonna address the giant, giant thing on your head? And we're gonna talk about that because that's really why the travel day was so brutal. Also, sorry, realized um, the camera quality and the sound and the way it looks is probably a little weird because I'm actually filming on a new camera that I got. Reed got me this for my 30th birthday. It is the Canon G7X Mark III and it takes incredible photos. Like, look at this photo. Absolutely, it looks edited like a magazine photo. And it just takes such good photos and it's also really easy for vlogging and things like that. So this is what I'm using and I think it looks pretty good, but apologies if the sound kind of stinks because I don't have my professional mic. A couple of nights ago, maybe like a week ago at this point, um, I picked a pimple. Um, I'm also gonna use, I'm using the NARS pot concealer to cover this. I'm gonna, I can see if I can zoom in a bit so you guys have a little better view of the giant monstrosity on my face so basically a couple nights ago i picked a pimple and it wasn't ready and essentially um i i knew this could happen but like i kind of have never it's never happened to me um i essentially popped it inwards like it imploded into my head which can give you an infection and i obviously didn't know that was what was happening it was stupid and when i have fake nails i push a lot harder than I realize because I can't really tell and um it just wasn't a, the pimple wasn't ready and I also don't even think it was like really a pimple I think it may have been like milia or something so it was definitely not the right thing to do and a couple days later I noticed that it was starting to swell and I just assumed that like I pushed so hard that it was swelling essentially and that had never happened to me before but I was like damn I really did something like and I knew I did it bad because Reed mentioned it to me he was like um what the fuck you just ruined your skin right there but you know when you're on a rampage with a pimple and you're like I have to get rid of this thing and you just keep squeezing and keep squeezing and you're like I might as well just keep going until it pops well it just never popped basically is what happened to me and um it was getting like a little bit bigger each day and I knew like I was leaving for France around that time and so the day that we were leaving for France I am like basically just putting so much of this on and then I'm gonna let it sit and like kind of dry down I actually learned that tip from Michaela um, and it's an amazing tip, especially with this product. It really does add a lot of really good coverage And I almost didn't bring this remember I almost didn't bring this I talked about that in that video and thank God I did because I would be so Messed up if I didn't have that concealer. So the morning that we were leaving for the trip Obviously, I'm using my summer Fridays I will say a problem that I have right now is I self tanned my body before I left and I didn't self tan my face So this is actually too light for me and it's like kind of obvious, but it's the only product I brought <laughs> But we're going to Sephora tomorrow. I'm so excited to show you guys to see what it ends up in that Sephora we're going to the Sephora in downtown Nice I woke up and it was getting bigger and more red and then I started feeling around on my face because it just felt like generally swollen and my lymph node right here which is your perioracle lymph node I didn't even know you had a lymph node right there was like full of liquid it still is right now and is was super swollen and I was like hmm that doesn't seem right and it's only on this side of my face and like this is not okay. So I started freaking out because our flight was that evening and I um, I called, well first I 
I messaged my friend Dermangelo, who is a dermatologist on TikTok, and I was like, what should I do? Like, I just need you to help me really quickly. Do you think I should go into urgent care? Do you think I should call my derm? Like, th this is what's happening. And he was like, I would go into urgent care because if your lymph node is swollen, it could be an infection, but obviously, like, I can't diagnose you over a photo. Very professional of him, but I wanted him to tell me, oh, it's fine, everything's fine, which was obviously not the case. Everything was not fine. <laughs> and it's still not fine, as you can see. Um, so I made an appointment with urgent care, but in the meantime, I ended up getting a telehealth appointment with my, uh, primary dermatologist who I obviously would like to talk to over going to urgent care like someone I've never met before. So I got a telehealth with her and at the time it was bad, but it wasn't like as bad as it is now. And she was like, oh yeah, I can tell that basically what you did was you popped your pimple inwards because it wasn't ready and you just kept picking at it. She's like, yeah, it happens. People do it. It's like obviously a really bad habit and hopefully will keep you from doing it in the future. But that's what you did. And she was like, since you're traveling, I want to give you antibiotics so that um, if you get it, if it actually spreads to your eye or anything, you're covered with staff and da da da. Um, so she put in an order for me at Walgreens and I literally went and picked it up like an hour later. And it was one that I'd never tried before. And I don't know about you guys, but I do not do well with antibiotics. My body just suffers on any medication basically, which sucks because I kind of need a lot of them. Like I'm on medication for um, my thyroid. Obviously I'm on my medication for my OCD and then I'm on medication for my birth control. It's just a lot of things that you have to juggle, especially when it comes to time zones too, like trying to juggle, sorry, I'm using the Givenchy Prism Libre um, skin caring concealer, which is so freaking good. Um, it's just a lot to juggle in general, but then it's a lot when you're adding in an antibiotic that I had to take three times a day, and I'm trying to juggle the timing of when I would take my other pills in France time versus US, which was a seven hour difference for us, which is a lot. So I was trying to figure that out, and I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna let anything keep me from this trip. Like, I'm going on the damn trip. I don't care if I have to take 30 horse pills a day. I got my medication, and I took it at home before we left, and I was like, okay, it's fine. Like, I was worried about my stomach, but it was okay. And I ended up being fine. It like made me feel a little funky, but not enough to like, worry and we got on the plane and i was feeling good and we had like a little champagne toast and we were so excited this looks so bad it just is like cracking up and not in a good way not in a laughing fun way do you see it it's just awful it's really hard to cover too anyways um we also were flying business class for the first time so we actually had lay down seats which was so needed also my dermatologist told me i could put makeup on it because it's not an external like a wound, it's an internal wound. So there's no like openings or anything to get like a skin infection. It's just like an internal infection. And so I slept for a little while, but I didn't sleep very well. I probably got two and a half hours of sleep is what my aura told me, which is obviously not a good. And um, Reed slept for maybe like four, which, you know, on a plane, that's pretty good. But we were flying seven hours into, it was a seven and a half hour flight into London and then another two and a half to Nice. So when we landed in London, I was like excited, but I noticed when I woke up that, which, oh, I had to take another pill on the plane. So I took one at home, I had to take one on the plane, which was nerve wracking, but I slept, so it was okay. But when I woke up, like we hadn't really eaten much. I was just feeling like, hmm, something doesn't feel quite right. And I don't like this feeling. And we had to get off the plane and take a bus to the airport which is never good for me because anytime I'm stuck somewhere, like a moving area and I don't feel good, I'm screwed. It's happened to me multiple times before. Reed has seen me sick in so many different planes, trains, automobiles, all of the things. And somehow he's still with me. Lord bless his soul. He's such a good man. So anyways, um, we get on the bus and I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> Like I start getting that feeling, you know the feeling that rises up within you and you're like, okay, well I'm either gonna pass out or I'm gonna throw up. It's like one of the two. Those are like the only two ways I'm getting out of this. And the bus is fully packed obviously cause it's like a ton of people. Yes, I'm adding more coverage, leave me alone. And I just basically raise my hand. I'm at the back of the bus and I'm like, excuse me. Also like, sorry, uh, like trigger warning about throwing up if that like makes you feel gross, but. I was like, excuse me, hi, I feel like I'm gonna get sick. Can you pull over, please? And they can't hear me. They're like way, way up there. And I just remember this guy sitting next to me. He goes, you can't help it. 
And I was like, oh my God, like I can't deal with this right now. So I went to the door and Reed was standing with me, over me. And I was just sitting like this. And Reed was like, we're almost there, we're almost there. Uh, spoiler alert, we were not almost there. It was like a very long, I, to me it felt like a thousand year bus ride. It was probably five minutes. But like still, you're used to getting off a plane and going right to the terminal. So like when I wasn't feeling well, I was like, oh, I can just get off the plane, go straight to the bathroom and like sit down and have a minute to like figure out if I'm gonna get sick. And I didn't have that minute. That minute was on a bus with a bunch of people. So now I'm using the Well People Cream Bronzer and this is in the shade natural neutral tan i'm uh, getting to the part where i'm about to throw up so you know turn it off if you don't want to hear it but basically i couldn't hold it anymore i was wearing a hat <laughs> i took my hat off barfed right into my hat <laughs> poor reed god i can't imagine anyone wanting to be with me after that but i've also barfed into a dress in a uber before um because of my alexa pro and reed was with me then too so he's used to this um i'm not new to this i'm true to this when it comes to barfing in public <laughs> so i barf all over myself and my hat is ruined this is a really nice hat from <laughs> amelie on door reed got me it's like a 70 dollar hat ruined barfed right into it um obviously incredibly embarrassed i'm saying to everyone like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm thinking like okay we're gonna be there any second no we have like a good three minutes left or i'm just sitting there i've already barfed like i feel better and i just have to sit there and this lady this british lady gives me a bunch of tiktoks which is very nice but i did have barf everywhere and i felt so embarrassed but what was I gonna do? Like, I, I wasn't gonna go barf in front of everybody, like, in my seat, you know? That would have been even more rude. So we get off the bus, and we're at the London airport, and we have, like, a four-hour layover? Three-hour layover? I wanna say four-hour layover. And we had access to the lounge, like, the American Airlines, British Airlines lounge, because we flew business class. And we thought it was gonna be really nice, and it was not very nice. It was super hot. We were, like... We couldn't find a seat that had a plug in it. The bathrooms were nice because they were individual, but there was a line for the bathrooms. Like, I, it was just not what we were thinking in, in terms of, like, the luxury of it all because we don't do a lot of that type of stuff, so we didn't know what to expect. And so we got there, and I, like, had a smoothie, and I had some chips to try and, like, keep my stomach okay, and I just was, like, so freaking tired. And I basically um, was like, well, I have to keep taking these antibiotics because this has to go down like I don't want to be sick when we get there in terms of like an infection like having an infection is much worse to me than like being sick and you know feeling nauseous so I took another one because I was supposed to take three a day and immediately threw it up in the bathroom in the London airport in the men's bathroom actually because there was a line so I just ran to the men's bathroom and was like sorry I'm going and at that point I was really really sick I felt awful I was so weak I could like barely stand up and I was like great we still have a long ways to go <laughs> before we even get to France so at that point Reed made me eat a banana which helped and we got on our flight to Nice which was fine I survived the flight to Nice because I just did not take another pill and I just like drank water I had a little bit of tea on the plane I'm gonna use the pixie on the glow bronze in beach glow to add a little bit of warmth to my face because Again, like I'm not matching as well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the cheeks before I go in with my blush. Oh yeah, so they delayed our flight, I don't know, hour and a half because of weather in France. So we were sitting on the plane for an hour just not doing anything. And obviously I felt like absolute garbaggio, but I was okay. They, um, they passed out water and stuff. So at that point I was like, I can survive this. I just need to get there. So we landed and it was like absolutely stunningly beautiful. And since then I've been okay barf wise. I haven't thrown up or anything. Um, but when we landed and got to our hotel, we immediately, it was like, I don't know, 10, 9 30 at night and we hadn't eaten anything. And so I was like, let's order room service and the only thing that i could get on the menu at the time because of my celiac disease was curry so i ate a giant bowl of curry which looking back was probably not the best choice for my stomach i'm using the nor north the nars dolce vita uh, glowy blushes the new liquid blushes i love this shade it's so pretty it's like a little sun kiss moment it looks like it's going to be super pigmented when you put it on but it just blends into like this really nice soft sort of sunburn look. So everything has been pretty good since then, but it was really, really rough for a moment there. And I was feeling very 
mad at myself for putting myself in this situation. Like there's no one else to blame here but me in terms of what the hell happened. Like I could easily be sitting here saying everything went perfect and not have a giant knot on my head just because I had to pick a pimple. So that's the message of the beginning of this video is saying, guys, how many times have we talked about how the, we're not supposed to pick pimples? How many times do people always say you're not supposed to pick pimples? I've seen videos of people saying that they got an infection from picking their pimple and yet we still do it. And like, honestly, you know, I'll probably still pick like white heads and things like that but when it comes to pimples not ready to come up you will not catch me picking them ever again because this has been such a debacle like now i have pain when i chew because my lymph node is so big and like i'm trying to figure out when to take these antibiotics so that i won't feel sick like i'm taking two a day now instead of three when really i should be taking three but i can't because then i won't be able to enjoy my trip it's a, uh, it's a real mess and again, it's my fault. And obviously I didn't know this was gonna happen, but I should not have done it. And I hope that you learn from me in this scenario and don't pick because you can end up with a giant knot or worse. Like I'm lucky that it hasn't spread, um, fingers crossed, knock on wood, because it could have been a lot worse and I could be really, really sick. But I feel okay, I feel fine physically. It's just been like, you know, annoying and I want to take really cute content for everybody and I feel like I have this giant welt on my face. Also, the first night that we were here, I put a pimple patch on it to like, I don't know, help the skin heal. And when I took it off in the morning, I ripped out a bunch of eyebrow hairs right in the front of my freaking face, which is not good because those are the best eyebrows and those are the ones that are hard to grow back in. So now this eyebrow is even shorter and yes, this is the one that I always pluck the tail off of and I, yes, I did it again and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so now I have this dinky ass eyebrow that's all messed up all because I couldn't stop picking. So you better stop because I, I don't want to, I can't do this again. I will not be doing this again and that's on period. So that is the stressful part of the story, but the rest of the story of this trip has been literally heaven on earth. I'm actually going to put my perfume on because I'm trying to make this whole trip smell like this perfume. This is a discontinued perfume from Victor and Rolf. It's Dancing Roses. It smells like almonds, roses, cherries, like liqueur. It has all of those notes in it and it's just a really unique scent that lasts very well. And because they don't make it anymore, I don't wear it that much. And I thought it would be a good chance to wear it and have like my memories encapsulated in something special. So that's what I'm wearing. It kind of smells like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but with more almond in it. Everything else has been absolutely incredible. We are staying at the most beautiful hotel I've ever stayed at in terms of like the way it looks externally, where it's placed. Like the room is super nice as well, but it's more of like everything else the restaurants are amazing the beach is amazing the pool is amazing the the location is amazing i've just been blown away by it and i'm gonna use a little bit of this hourglass bronzer to set a little bit of this i know i'm going overboard with the bronzer but trust me in person it's better this way than to not match i will share where we stayed on my instagram and stuff after we leave but we are at the hotel royale riviera in cape Farah right now and it is absolutely amazing so the first night i was really nervous because we had a full excursion planned for the next day and um i was obviously very weak and not feeling well and then on top of that like the jet lag of trying to go to bed when it's not time to go to bed and all of that stuff so that was really very nerve-wracking to me but i ended up sleeping because i was so tired from the night before and um we woke up for the excursion and i was feeling pretty good so we had a great day like Probably the best day I've had in terms of like going on a tour in another country. It was our tour guide was so amazing, so sweet, so knowledgeable. She um, is from this area and just like had endless amounts of knowledge about the towns and all the places we went. So we started in Monaco and that was amazing. Reed is a big F1 fan. So we got to drive on the track there where they do the F1 race in Monaco. It is such a small little country and so much wealth is there. Like I cannot explain to you how many luxury vehicles, and I'm not just talking like a Range Rover. I'm talking like Ferraris everywhere, Lamborghinis, like Rolls Royce, just like driving down the street, going to lunch, 
everywhere. It was crazy. We went shopping. I ended up getting a little Prada bag, which I have on my Instagram. And I just loved talking to everyone and hearing where they're from and what they do. And I'm trying to just lightly go over the well with my eyebrow pencil. It looks okay. I mean, it doesn't look great, but I had to draw in the first half of the eyebrow. So, you know, give me a break. <laughs> I ripped all my hairs out. So yeah, um, we started in Monaco and then we went to lunch at this amazing little, I think it was like a beach club to a restaurant at a hotel that was literally perched up at the very top of essentially the entire town. It was so beautiful. And we went down and had lunch at this like little seaside, this little seaside restaurant. It was so good. I got this watermelon salad that had cucumber and feta and it was so good. And Reed got a cheeseburger, which is so funny and so American, especially because he loves seafood, but the burger was really good. And then we went to Ez, which is a literal, the old town of Ez, which is literally like a two street block of like this village that has, just has a lot of history and it was a climb. It was a climb, but it was so pretty. And again, like our tour guide was so knowledgeable. And then we ended the day going to a sort of like a mansion. It's like a villa that this woman owned. It's called uh, the Villa de Rothschild. And that's not the full name, but that's like, you would know it if you've been before, like it's a famous villa. And it was just crazy. This woman had this insane, oh my gosh, more eyebrow hairs are coming off. Cool. She had this insane villa and she made it exactly what she wanted. She lived by herself, she had no kids. And then she gave it to the government to have as like, sort of a historical area and she had like eight gardens and they were all different themes like Spanish garden Japanese garden stuff like that and it was absolutely incredible we had a great time then we came back we went to dinner by the sea and today we spent the day at the beach and at the pool and now we're getting ready for dinner like it's really been such a great trip so far again knock on wood because I was really nervous I was not gonna pull through there I'm gonna use the Victoria Beckham the the contour stylist as my eyeshadow I'm just gonna go kind of like easy cute breezy today you guys already saw all of the makeup that I brought to the trip like my last video or maybe two videos ago was practicing my makeup for the trip to make sure I would like it and I've kind of added in a few things and taken a few things out since then but I have noticed like I've kind of been loving the no mascara since I have my um lash lift on like when I add a mascara it doesn't do that much it's just kind of I don't know it makes it look like obvious that I have a lash lift it's just kind of fresh to not have any on but I might add a little bit at the end but I just like, I've really been enjoying that. Let's do lips and then we'll end with obviously freckles. I got this new lip exfoliator from Refi. It just came in the mail, which we can, I can show you. I also got two of the Refi lip blushes, which was like the purpose of that order. The porpoise of that order. I have not pulled out my, um, my red lips yet though. I will say that. I just, I just feel like it hasn't been the right time yet. I think I might do it for my birthday dinner though. So which is on Wednesday. I'm just trying to like get cuter slowly throughout the trip. I don't wanna be like uber cute right now and then have nothing cute for the rest of the trip. But basically this is the lip buff and it's not really like a lip product. It's actually like a serum inside of this like lip -liator. So I just push a little bit up and then it really works, you guys. It is amazing. It makes your lips look so much bigger too cause it's just like bringing all the blood to your lips and it makes it perfect for a lipstick especially if you're doing a matte lip and i don't have filler so i really need to like exfoliate my lips to help with those little wrinkles because that's something i notice like when you see girls or boys that have filler everything looks good on them all their lipsticks look good because their lips are so smooth but if you don't have filler and you have natural lips a lot of the times a matte lipstick will sit in your lips in those lines and make your lips look old and wrinkly and then i just brought my makeup eraser like towelette and i'm just going to use that to remove that serum and now they look like plump and red and ready for anything vibes um i brought two of them i only bought two of them but these are the two that i brought in orchid and wine i'll swatch them for you i really like them for a matte lip it's like it kind of reminds me of the Generation G from Glossier, but even softer and easier to apply. And I got the color Wine because I thought that would be a good shade for France, like this reddish shade. And this is in the shade Orchid, which is more of like a pinky shade. So I'll probably try that one on for you now. But first I'm going to do a little liner liner pencil guiner. 
with my undone and I can't talk because I have to pay attention. Okay, liner is on. Again, that is the um, Undone Beauty Forever Lip. And I just, it's really nice. It's like a stain. And it's just a really nice kind of reddish color. Good for me. And let's try this on. It's got a nice sheer quality to it and it feels really nice for being matte. Like it feels a little slippy like a matte lip does but not anything too crazy and i think you could easily skip the liner and have like a blurred out look to the lips but i was just looking for something a little more bold just for tonight i don't know why i just was i'm gonna add a little bit of mascara now we're going to dinner tonight sorry i'm still figuring out how to use this damn camera we're going to dinner tonight um i think it's near the beach i'm actually gonna wear a different top it's a it's a straight across, so I couldn't wear it on camera because it literally looks like I'm narked. And I'm not narked. I miss my dogs. I'll tell you that much. I miss my girls. My mom is watching them in uh, Nashville at our house. And she has her dogs also at the house. So it's a real, it's a real girl's house. There's my mom's boyfriend and her dog, Nico, or the boys. And everyone else is a girl. She has one girl dog. I have two. And I just miss them and I hope they're doing well. And then when my mom goes to Croatia in September, we're watching her dogs. So it's gonna be a full house. I'm sure I will vlog about it then. Hey, look who it is. Bonjour. Bonjour. How's, How's, How's your trip been? Trip's great. We are, uh, call it 48 hours into being on location in South yeah. of France. It's been great. Being on location. Uh, today at the beach we met some folks who were going to a wedding at the Villa de Rothschild where we went yesterday and they were like very uppity very British posh London people yeah like super nice but very much like <laughs> I was like yeah we're going to Saint-Tropez in a couple of days and this one guy was like oh I've been going to San Tropez since I was 16 with my friend's parents, and it's amazing. You'll absolutely love it. Make sure. And he gave me some good recommendations. But on holiday. Just... He's been going on holiday since he was 16. I was like, San Tropez since 16, not bad. It really makes you think about your life and how we should be here. It would be better, perhaps, to be incredibly wealthy. That That's not a lie. Uh, <laughs> we saw some absolutely massive yachts. Oh my gosh. Um, Insane. Our tour guide said that Cap Ferral, where we're staying, is like the people who actually own homes here. They call this like the billionaires' cape Ferrell or something. Um, yeah. Because like one of the Microsoft found co-founders has a, a villa here, and it's I uh, think Mark Zuckerberg too. It's pretty stunning. We saw. I mean, the yachts were just lit up like Christmas in the bay at night, and they were so beautiful. And I wanted to be on one. It's crazy because we've been saving for this trip for like literally two years, <laughs> and then these people are just like. Oh yeah, we're here, you know, it's just crazy. I was just trying to look up weddings at the, uh, Rostro. yeah, and it's, it said one number I found was 1300 euro per guest. Oh my good, God. Good estimate, which for 150 people would be like 200,000 euro. <gasps> Honestly, plus everything that comes, plus a band and plus da 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 and food and. Yeah, I thought it would be more. I'm sure the total price will be absurd. And these poor guys were wearing, they were like, oh yeah. It's they were in tie. their morning, whatever. Morning suit, which is a thing that in we Britain, don't understand. Apparently. But we saw uh, a couple getting ready to head over there as we were coming back from the pool. And he they looked very a, dapper. He was in a tux, and I thought. It's 83 degrees and humid. That looks very hot. And there's no AC in Europe. What's up with that? There is AC in this room. Thank God. Thank God that we win hotels. Am I right? Or yes. am I right? Big shout out to our travel agent, travel agent Julia, a.k.a. JBG Travel on Instagram. Well, I think that about wraps it up, don't you think? I think. Wow, We're here for beautiful. it. Look at her. Do you like this finished she's so look? Good. Yes. What about my horn? What horn? Eh? <laughs> um, so yeah, love you guys. I hope that this was fun. It was super fun for me. I needed to just sit down and have a little fun with my makeup. Um, can't wait to fill you in on the rest of the trip. Maybe I'll do one more of these and we can talk about other stuff as well. Maybe Rita will do one and we'll get ready together. Mm, C'est possible. Ah, oh, oui. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, here. Let me show you the um, actual view. Here we go. Absolutely stunning. There we go. 
All right, guys. Love you. See you in the next one very soon.